Hello, welcome. In this video, we're covering fuel economy one, and we have two sample problems. We'll go over them. We'll check our answers. I'll pull these screens down to see the answers and see if we're getting the same thing. And then you'll be ready to solve the problems in the module. So let's do that. We're told here that a vehicle gets 13 miles per gallon, okay, and it drives 21,956 miles in a year. What would the total cost of gas be for one year? What would the cost be. Assume that the cost of gas is $3.32 per gallon and round your answer to the nearest cent. All right, so I'm just going to take a little screenshot of all this information. I'm going to the next slide. So here we go. Okay, I'm going to open this up. Boom. And just shrink it down so we have room. Okay. So there's 13 miles per gallon and it drives 21,956 miles per year. So let me show this in the intuition and the speedway. So 21,956 miles per year. Okay. The first thing I want to do is divide that by my miles per gallon. 13 miles per gallon. So this is a Y and this is a G. And this will tell me when I divide these two, the miles cancel out. And what I'll have is gallons per year. That'll tell me how many gallons per year I'm using. So let's do that. 21,956 divided by, I believe it was 13. So 1,688. Grab a screenshot of this. Go back over. Let's see if I got that right. Yep. Okay. So this tells me that uh, each year we'll need that many gallons per year. And the way the, the units cancel out is a miles divided by miles cancel. And the gallons move up to the top. Because when you're dividing by a fraction, you might remember that you flip it and multiply. But what that means is you got 1688.923077 gallons per year. Per year. And I also know that this it's it's this amount gallons per year and I know the cost per gallon, so that's dollars per gallon. So then we take this amount, 1688.93077 gallons per year, and we multiply that by how much each gallon costs. How much is a gallon? So $3.32, or $3.32 per gallon. And what will happen here is the gallons will cancel out, and then we're left with units dollars per year, dollars per year. So we can do that in the calculator. We've got our previous number, 1688, already saved. There it is, times $3.32 per gallon. And grab that number, 5607.22. Okay, go back. All right, minimize that. Now, I'm just gonna, and then I'll round it as well. So this is dollars per year. So to our nearest cent is 5607.22. This is four, means you keep the two where it is. If it was five or above, you would give this up a shove to three. So it's 0.22 dollars per year. So 5607.22. Now let's go back. Okay, let's compare this. They're, they're getting the same answer. Um, I don't know that this is necessarily a faster algorithm, but it seems to be nice for students to have everything in one step. So it's all the same things, just written in a different order. The amount of years divided by 13, we do that this over here this way. When you multiply by 1 over 13, that's the same thing. And then multiplying that by 332. And maybe I'll consider switching the order of these two. But I think it's helpful actually in, in future problems, which you'll see why in the next fuel economy too. But uh, long story short, um, <laughs> this is the same way of getting the same answer. So it's just miles times cost times the reciprocal of the miles per gallon. And that means, so it's 13 miles per gallon, so 13 miles for every one gallon. The reciprocal is that flipped around, so it's one gallon every 13 miles, and that's what this is right here. A reciprocal is just a flat fraction flipped. That's what's happening. Now let's go to another example. You can see how similar this problem is. It, what we're told here, a vehicle gets 10 miles per gallon, Ignore that if, I have to fix this, not the best grammar. A vehicle, a vehicle that gets a vehicle that gets 10 miles per gallon and drives 14,411 miles per year, 
what would the total cost of gas be per month? The word B should be there. I'll fix that. Assume that the cost of gas is two ninety four per gallon. Round your answer. So we'll do the same stuff. Let's let's solve this out, and then we'll come back and we'll compare our our algorithm to the answer and algorithm that are listed out here. Let me go make a blank slide. Boom. Okay. So what do we have going on here? It's the same process. Now I'm going to just say that again. You've got the 14, 4, 11, it's miles in a year. You're dividing, that's a Y. You're dividing that by 10 miles per gallon. Now here we're dividing by 10, which is nice. These miles cancel out. And what you're going to get is 1441.1. I'm just moving the decimal over one. When you divide by 10, the decimal moves over to the left by one gallons per year. And then you're going to have this number, gallons per year, again, times the cost per gallon. So 294, $2.94, I'll put D, per gallon. And these gallons cancel. And this is dollar, that's a Y, that's years. So this gets us the cost in dollars per year, dollars per year. And we're almost done at that point. So it's, what was that? I already forgot, 1441.1. So 1441.1 times the cost, 294, okay, 2.94. Grab this number. Now this, this is the cost per year, okay? Cost per year, but we don't want that. We'll see what we want. I'll go reread it for a moment, in a moment. Um, but right here, let's just say this is the cost in dollars per year, 4236.834. Notice I'm not rounding anything yet, not yet. They want to know what is the cost of gas per month. So you would take this, this is per year, and then you would divide it, there are 12 months uh, in a year, right? So every year has 12 months, so you could go like this. If you want to show how everything's cancels, nice and neat, 4236.834 dollars per year times what the years to cancel out. Every one year has 12 months, and you can see here the years cancel, they divide out, and then you get the amount of dollars per month, dollars per month. So it's 42, we already have that number saved here. We're just dividing it by 12. And there's 353.07, 353.07, 353.07. And we'll compare this answer to the one here. There is the same thing. And here is the same algorithm kind of condensed. You need to take the total miles times the cost of the gas and divide it by 12 and then multiply by one over 10, which is one over the miles per gallon, that reciprocal is popping up again. Now, in the other types of problems, you might notice it's per, let's say, week, in which case the only thing that would be different is this number would change to a 52, since there are 52 weeks in a year, or days, 365 days per year, and otherwise the algorithm is essentially the same. All right, I hope that helped.